Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Beth, the Red Cross Stitcher. Welcome. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. If you are on Instagram and would like to follow me uh, there, I am Red Cross Stitcher on Instagram as well, so I'd love to have you join me. If you like my content, would you please subscribe to my channel, like and share and comment on my video and do all the things we do here on YouTube. I would appreciate it so very much. Thank you. I know time is precious and I appreciate you spending some of that with me today. So today is Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. And guys, last week was my one year anniversary here on YouTube. I knew it was coming up and I went and looked. It was August 18th, 2023 that I released my first video. And I appreciate you all for helping me and making my channel what it is today. I'm a little over 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have got to know you through your comments and your kind words, your love, your support and encouragement of my channel. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you. So on to bigger and better. We're just going to keep uh, making uh, videos and I'm just going to keep sharing my content as long as you all want to keep watching and I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I have got a lot to show you. I have two finishes. No fully finished, but I have two finishes. I have two new starts and during my whip parade, my works in progress parade from last video, my goal was to touch uh, the month of August, touch all of my works in progress. And I am, I'll let you know where I am on uh, that as well. So first things first, let me talk about, I have, I'm gonna show you something, but before I show you um, the piece in it, I just want to tell you, I have some lovely friends uh, Kirk and Sherry Davis. We go to church together and Sherry and I, uh, sew together and, um, we, um, she comes to our stitch group. We, we're just, um, just have been blessed to have, uh, got to meet both of them and, uh, loving, kind people you'll ever want to meet. Sherry had reached out to me one day and said, Kirk wants to make you a frame. He uh, loves to woodwork. And um, so I'd sent her the dimensions of uh, the one that I was working on. And you all, he didn't make me just one frame. He made me two. And to touch me to the very depths of my heart is an understatement. When you have somebody that kind and generous, you all, that words can't express the appreciation and the gratitude that I have for them. I am so thankful, so thankful for them. But thank you, Kirk. I know he doesn't watch, but I'm very thankful to him. He does beautiful work. And if he ever wants to do that to sell, I would be his number one cheerleader to sell, uh, for, you know, to promote him. Um, but I, he's not doing that. He, he does it as a hobby. But if he ever did, I would be promoting him. So let me show you what I've done. I finished uh, the Scarlet House Charlotte Frost 1846. So the changes that I made, and I apologize if I touch my hair or my face quite a bit. I have my fan going and I can feel that blowing on my face a little bit. I think I told you all, I did not care for the little swans by the trees. I didn't, I didn't like that backstitch look. So I didn't do that. I also don't put in, typically, 
don't put in um, the name of the reproduction. I'm doing, when I stitch these, I wanna stitch them where it is honoring my family. So I did this uh, in, um, to honor my mother and I put her name and her birth date. And I have it in one of the frames and I'll show you the other frame that um, Kirk made for me. This is not pinned, it is not laced. I just have my phone cord cut out and I literally just placed it over the phone cord just to get a feel because I was playing them back and forth um, to each frame to see which one I wanted to use. So again, it's not stretched, laced, pinned, anything. And there it is. He put glass in the frame. And my mother's name is Anthea Bell Bragg Maynard, October 14th, 1947. I love it. And once I get this pinned and laced uh, and get it centered, I am going to love it. Now, the chart, let me show you again. The house is not centered, that top piece. So I stitched it the way it was charted, but it isn't centered. But again, oh my goodness. I love it. So this was one of the frames he had made. And this is the one I think definitely that I'm going to go with. But I will show you the other one. Let me put this one here. And they're heavy. Very, very nice quality. And this is the other one he made. and it has the glass already in it. Look at that, beautiful. So pretty. And I'm gonna set that back there so I don't, so I don't break it. So again, Thank you. Thank you, Kirk and Sherry. Blessings. He is a very talented woodworker, among other things, but mostly they're kind and gracious. So, so very thankful. All right, the next one that I finished, and on the Scarlet House, that verse, I am, I think I've said this before, I am not a fast stitcher and especially when it comes to over one, um, I, it just takes me so long to do it. And on the Scarlet House, the verse, all the verse, and then where I did my mother's name was all over one. And if you stitch the swans, the swans would be over one, and I think that was it. But my next finish is Plum Street Samplers. Proverbs 31 sampler. Beautiful. Beautiful uh, chart. Uh, now, my goal, so before I show you, you can see all the little, the little doodads scattered around or around the chart. I don't like stitching those to begin with. But I intended to take the first initial of my, uh, my mother's, my sister's, my grandmother's, great grandmother's, that sort of thing, and put the initials in those spaces. But because this verse is the, takes up a big part of the, the space, um, it, I think it would have muddied that. 
this verse and the Proverbs 31, um, plus, excuse me, piece here are all over one. Everything else is over two. So it took me probably longer to stitch this verse than it did to stitch the entire chart. That's just me, that's how slow that I am. So, after I did it, I didn't want to put the initials in. I thought it was going to muddy the waters too much, so I chose not to. But I did come and put, uh, let's see, my initials above the Proverbs 31. So that's my finish. And I probably am going to frame this. And I apologize, the lawnmower uh, there um, beside of us on either side, I think they're having their grass mode. So I apologize for the noise. That is my second fully finish. So, um, I'll look for a frame. I did look last night. We were at Hobby Lobby and I didn't find anything. I think what I'm going to try to find is like a seven inch square frame. I think will give me enough room all the way around for that. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. Charlotte Frost was stitched on 37 count corn tassel, which is the called for fabric with the called for DMC, uh, she gives you the DMC and she gives you NPI silk. I did it with the DMC, except the red. I did use the NPI red for that. On um, Proverbs 31, I did mine on 36 count Moonstone with the called for floss. And um, yeah, and I just again left out those those little those little doodads all right i have had two new starts and then i touched quite a bit of my works in progress that i had already uh, had in the mix probably 10 or so of them and i'll show you those so i made good progress on that all right the first one my new start is Remember Me by Teresa Kogut. Very pretty. So, get a drink. I did this one, let's see, on 36 count weeks parchment. This is for my good friend, Diane, who is Be A Blessing Stitcher. I, um, her birthday was August uh, 17th, and we started, and I'm almost positive it was the 17th, it was a week ago this past Saturday. Uh, we started this for her birthday start. This is what she chose. And I have a very, very small start on it. That was the day we had went to the Amish store and on our way back, we stopped at our son and his wife, um, their house, the one who is deployed, Tay. Uh, we stopped at Eileen's and uh, got to see baby Jonah. So we were over there uh, pretty late. And by the time we got home, it was already, um, it was already pretty late into the evening, but I did want to get a start on it with her for her birthday. She has been such a dear, precious, precious friend to me. And again, I've said this, when you have a good friend, hold them tight and love them, pray for them, encourage them. And uh, she has been one of those people to me. She's been a good friend. So very small start. And that is no joke on this, um, just that little bit that I did and that flower, gosh, that counting, that is no joke on that. 
and her flowers, um, I am, I, oh, I'm doing something new on this. I'm starting in the center. I'm starting with this flower. And all her flowers, I mean, they're pretty stitch heavy. I wanted to do something different. I typically start upper right corner and work down. So I did something different out of my comfort zone. But I wanted to do, I want to switch things up. I want to do, I want to do some different things. My other new start, inspired by Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher, she had, um, done this one and changed her colors. I fell in love with it, loved it, because I probably wouldn't have bought the chart otherwise. Not that there's anything wrong with the chart. It's just colors can make such a difference, whether it's in quilting or, you know, garment sewing, um, cross stitch, whatever. It, when you change elements of that, it totally, totally changes the looks but I am doing Christmas Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Now, I, I just don't care for it on the gray. Love the chart. Um, that's just not my aesthetic. And when Jessica showed her stitched on black, I fell in love with it. And she changed the floss. So what I did is, um, I, I'm almost positive Jessica stitched it on 27 count Linda cloth, which is what I have. And she has on her um, Instagram uh, what she, kind of colors she's changed it to. And I'm, I'm using most of those. I think I substituted a few. So those are the colors that I'll use but y'all, <laughs> I don't do well on black. Now, I'm not gonna stop. It just may take me 16 years to finish it. I probably spent an hour, and that's no joke, on trying to stitch this. I know people say put a towel or a pillow, something underneath to help you be able to see it. With the angle, because I stitch in hand, that's a little hard for me um, to hold that or have it up under me while I'm stitching. When I look at this, I, I do have contacts in, but I wear progressive glasses. And even with my progressives, good lighting. I've got my light going all around me. It's just like I'm seeing one big piece of black. It's like I can't... I can't, I, I can't see any holes, anything. It's just like it's one solid piece of black fabric. So I am gonna struggle with this probably a little bit. And I, I've got two letters. I'm not even putting it on the board. I have two letters done. That's how long that took me. but I'm not giving it up. It is beautiful. I've already cut it because it's going to be long. Um, but, but it's a struggle for me. I don't have much that I think I've ever stitched. Maybe one, two pieces of that on black. I just don't do well with it. I don't know why, but I, I just, I struggle with it. So there may not be many more black uh, fabric in my future because I do. I, I want it to be enjoyable and I want to be able to see it. And uh, again, just that rhythm of, of stitching just brings me just happiness. And I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm constantly struggling, but I do want this. So it just may take me a while, but I'll get there. I will get there. So those were my two new starts that I started. And now we'll go into what else I have been working on that I had previously already started. 
so the first one and like I said my goal was that I told you in the last video is I wanted to go back and touch every one of my whips which is works in progress and if I didn't like them or decided that I needed to change the fabric I was going to stop and uh, go ahead and take it out of my rotation and then re-choose new fabric or floss, whatever it was. And I have enjoyed getting to touch each of these pieces. Um, I'm not gonna do that every month, but what I'd like to do is my mid-year whip parade and you know my end of year, beginning of the year. Probably I will do January-ish time frame, I'll do another uh, whip parade. And then I want to go back and touch them again. I know there's so many people, Karen, the recovering monogamous stitcher, she does so many days on her oldest whip. Um, there are, you know, whip goes and uh, heifer boards and uh, boss me and all kinds of things. I, I don't know if I'm ready to do something like that yet. Um, but I do want to touch my stuff. So, this is one way that I'm going to keep working on it. I am doing Santa Stops Here by Brenda Gervais. I am doing mine. I believe this is prairie grass. Um, probably a 28 because I believe this was the piece that I had left over from Oh Joyous Day. And I finished the roof. And I did the wreath. Now, I am not saying that I am spending a whole day on anything. Just that I'm touching it. And, you know, it could be a thread or two. Um, but I, you know, I am pulling it out to touch it. So that's what I've done. So a lot of dent, gonna be a lot of dense stitching with the, the bricks. So I've done that. Sorry, I hear the weed or the leaf blower going. And I didn't iron anything this time either, you all. I didn't pull anything out to iron. The next one I did was Primrose Cottage, Primrose Cottage Stitches. I want to call them cottages. Leaves of Autumn. I oh on the sand that stops here. I like I said, I think it's a 28 or 32 prairie grass and I am using probably mostly called for colors because it is over dyed and some DMC's I may have subbed some DMC I changed all the colors in this this was um, called for color and cotton and so I changed that and this is on let's see it's either platinum or maybe mushroom. Um, I can't remember, but I wanna say it looks like mushroom. And that's where I am. So I did change, I think most, there are a few over dyes that I'm using, but mostly DMC. So love this. I already have decorated for fall as well in my house at the beginning of August. I pulled my stuff or to put my patriotic away and went ahead and just switched on out to to fall. Let's see. This is another Primrose Cottage Stitches. 
Honey Bee Quaker. I am doing this on 28 count white with the called for um, DMC. What I've done there, I've, I touched quite a few. I was very pleased with myself. The next one is Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. Love this. I am doing this with a couple of friends. Diane, be a blessing, Stitcher. Uh, Rachel and Denise from my stitching group also joined in. I'm doing mine on 36 count old stationery. And I am using mo the most uh, or mostly called for floss with the exception uh, I think I made a few. I've, I'm following Lori Holt's conversion, except she's using perfect or used perfect pie crust, and I changed mine to Classic Color Works Rosy Glow. It's hard to see what y'all are seeing. Now, what I did. I came in and filled. I came in and framed out my windows, filled in a little bit of the house, got my two birds in, the flower here, and part of the fence. love this. I already have the frame that I'm going to put it in ready to go. So I've done that one. And I told you my dilemma on this one before I had started. This was probably one of my first pieces. Might have been like my third piece that I had cross stitched. Wasn't very far into my cross stitch journey. Um, I didn't know enough to think, gosh, I just changed out my, uh, fabric and didn't think any more about doing a floss toss. Probably didn't even know what that was. And when I got started on it, I hated it because it just washes out the, the colors. And that is Lori Holt's Snowballs for Sale. Now, I love the chart. I just hate my fabric choice. She did a, she actually did hers on Heritage, 25 count Lugana. Very pretty. I fell in love with it when I saw it. I am using the called for DMC. Didn't have Heritage, so I'm like, eh, I'll just pull something, something else. And isn't that, you know, when we, I've learned, let me say that. Have I arrived? No, I'm still learning further than I was, but you know, I just made that mistake and I hopefully don't have to repeat that mistake 50 times before I realize. What I'm trying to do now is when I realize I don't like something on as I'm stitching it, I want to only put a few stitches in and, and go, yep, not liking it. I need to uh, change out the, a floss or the fabric. I don't want to stitch half of it and realize, man, this isn't good. I think this is her fabric buttermilk, uh, 14 count. And of course you see how light it is. You can't see the white. 
Now, I don't want to do back stitching. I was originally going to throw it away. I don't like the back stitching part. So, what I think I'm going to do is I came and was working more on these designs in the snowman. Fill him in, fill the snowballs in. And if you'll see on the chart, all the snowballs are snowflakes that are around the pattern. And on the bottom is snow. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. You won't be able to see it. So there's a faint blue line on the bottom of the snow uh, snowman. I think I'll do that or just leave it, I'm not positive. But you're not gonna see any white um, snowflakes. I think I'll probably just turn it into a bag, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time worrying about what to do, but I, I, I am gonna finish it. I am gonna finish it. But I love the chart, I just wish I would have chosen, like I said, different fabric for it. And again, I'm learning. I've learned and I'll continue to learn. I, uh, I'm not going to say I haven't made that mistake again because I have. <laughs> but I'm hoping not to keep repeating that same mistake. The next one is Dasher and Dancer by, is it Hobby Chris, Hobby House? Um, I don't have Hobby House Press. I don't have the, um, I'll show you the kind of that. I don't have the cover sheet for it uh, printed. I am using, this is also a, um, a sow, which is a stitch along with um, handmade by Sarah W. And I am using DMC 221. See, it's all a mess. That's what I'm using. I am stitching it on 40 count. I think it's 40. 40 count vintage country mocha. And I made some progress because I only had maybe up to the W. I don't think I had gotten to the letter V. This is a big piece. I probably was right through here. So I extended out the alphabet. And the banner, I'm starting to extend out the banner. Gonna be pretty, but we, this was a um, stitch along, like I said, started by, uh, handmade by Sarah W. I think it is Dash and Dance, S-A-L, is what I'm thinking the hashtag is. Um, started at Christmas Day, and I hadn't picked it back up until um, I took this to the beach to work on. Uh, while we were gone. So I got to pick that back up. The next one is, was my birthday start. And I, um, if you follow me, I, you know that I had had this started back months ago and my fabric wasn't cut when I bought the fabric wasn't cut correctly, I didn't measure it, went with it, realized it wasn't cut correctly, so I wanted to restart it. So, Rejoice Evermore by Brenda Gervais. I love this, I love this chart. Love everything about that. So, I am doing mine with the called for colors on, let's see, 32 count vanilla cream by Rogue Fabrics. Okay. 
So you can see how wide it's going to be. I don't think it's much wider than that. I think that was, yeah, that's how wide and then how long. So I got a little, little start on it. I do like the fabric. I don't know if I've stitched on rogue fabric before, but I do like it. And, um, Diane be a blessing of stitching this with me as well. I didn't do a hashtag, but if you are stitching it, I've seen several finishes on Instagram. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. And then the last one that I worked on, Dwelling Place by Teresa Kogut. And I am doing this one on 36 count Confederate gray with the call for colors. And I picked this one back up and started with um, finishing some of the alphabet. So I'm working on the alphabet. So, I don't have a, a ton, but I'm getting there. Love, love, love this one, too, and I love that fabric. All right, that is what I have worked on. Now, I have, uh, like I said, I, what, there's three days left, because today's the 28th of August, I have three days left and I have seven more works in progress to touch. Again, not that I'm saying I'm doing a day. It could just be a thread, a couple of stitches that I'm touching them. And I, I'm just gonna hold them up really quickly. Um, this is Wreath Swap by Stitching with the Housewife, Housewives. And I have two in progress, and I'm doing all of these on 32 count beautiful beige, so I still have these to touch. So I gotta touch these. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time holding these up because I did show these in my uh, whip parade last time. My good friend Debbie, sweet lady, um, sent me this chart, The Nutcracker Tree by Tiny Modernist. I'm doing this one on a 28 count light blue even weave with the DMC floss. And I need to put some stitches on this one. And the next one, when I get this one out, I am going to do a new uh, ball tip needle to try it. Blackbird Designs, uh, Agnes Platt. I am doing the Biscuit. I'm doing it on 32 count heritage. Um, so I still have that one. To, um, to get back to. And I've already cut, I intended to use the fabric for all of those. So I gotta get back to that or touch it. And like I said, this is the one where the fabric, the holes don't seem to be perforated. I can see them, they're just really, really, uh, like you can't penetrate it. So I am going to try um, a ball tip needle to see. The next one is 
the Be Kind Sampler by Stacy Nash. This was uh, Shelly Fry's birthday. Uh, Shelly's Double Nickel birthday, S-A-L. And I'm doing mine on uh, 36 Count Legacy with the called four colors. And I need, to, and the, the verse is over one. I think that's the only thing. But I've got to get back to this one. So that one. And then two more. Okay, on this one, when I went to go pull out of the, the basket, I always, I'll pull it, and then I'm like, oh no, that's what that one is. And I have, I have, I don't know how many times I've already done it. So I'm going to, I'm fairly confident I'm going to stop this and put it on a different fabric. This is Seasons of the Heart by Brenda Gervais, and I am actually working on the summer one. And I think I'm doing mine on some sort of a raw natural linen, 40 count. And I just, I don't like it. <laughs> so I am pretty confident I will stop this and restart it. But we'll, we'll see. Like I said, I do believe I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it. And the last one that I need to pull back out is All Joys, All Joys for Thine by Blackbird Designs. And I will put a few more stitches in it. I'm doing this one, uh, the Seasons of the Heart, I think I'm using called for floss, but the 40 count natural linen. This is 36 count L. And I like it. So I just gotta get back to that one. So that will be another one. So seven, I need to touch seven in three days. And I then have six of my uh, still 2024 plans. And I'm not, I'm just gonna call them out. I'm not gonna go through them and hold them up or anything. Plum Street, um, Plum Street Samplers, Cardinal Ken. I have the Quaker Gardens left from Hello by Liz Matthews. Plum Street, uh, well, maybe I'll just hold the chart up. Cardinal Ken, Plum Street Samplers. <laughs> Can you see? Quaker Gardens by Hello from Liz Matthews. These were in my plans that I said I wanted to do in 2024. So four months left. Plum Street Samplers Blackberry House. That's still left for the year. Teresa Kogut Strawberry Manor, and this was a mystery so long when it came out, and I didn't print the entire chart. You can kind of see it blurred out. But this is one that I want to start. And they're kitted, ready to go. This is Teresa Kogut's Bristol Haven. start that one and then finally uh, that was in my original plan was blackbird designs out of sweet land of liberty oops sorry 
I am going to be doing uh, the salute to Abigail Adams. So I have six for the remainder of the year that I want to do a start on. I have seven left of my whips to do in the three days. I have four months to, to finish the, the whips. So let me just highlight a few other things that I'm doing and, um, and show you what I've got going on. This is the Alaska quilt by um, Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. And as you can see, I don't have this row and there's two other rows that I need to sew together to attach. I am using mostly Edita's uh, fabric, the, that tan, the cream and the tan are, I wanna say a grunge. Uh, well, the, the cream is, the tan, I can't remember where, what that one was, but, um, but the others are Edita's, I think, except one. So I want to finish putting the rows together, getting that done, and I still have my son, Tay, who is deployed. He is overseas, and um, we are almost on the countdown to 30 days. Uh, so it will be here soon that uh, we will be truly counting down a 30-day countdown. So, so thankful, still thankful for all of you who have prayed and continued to send your your good thoughts and well wishes to me and, and for prayers for not only for him, but his wife, Eileen, and his um, new son, uh, Jonah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, what else? Mm. Here on Ada, I have the Discoverer Tea by Ellie and Mac, and I um, this is using cotton, um, probably cotton spandex in the black, and then the body and the the sleeves. I think are just a like a cotton, probably a cotton rayon material. I love this shirt. Again, you can do short sleeve, three quarter long sleeves. I love layering this with a black vest in the fall and winter, uh, but this has been well worn and loved. I love, love that um, pattern. Now that fall is coming, I have a little more time. I told you all in my last video, I have been doing food preservation, uh, canning, um, regular food preservation, learning uh, fermentation, where I'm growing my own yeast in the form of sourdough. Um, I'm going to start doing um, fermenting cabbage to make kraut. So there's some things I've been teaching and learning. Uh, I've also been canning uh, some food that, of course, with summer, We've, you know, had an abundance of uh, what I bought from the farmer's market. We don't have a large garden here. We have um, farmland, which is about three miles from us. And ultimately, that's where we're wanting to, to build on, um, is on our farmland. But uh, my husband is going to actually make a uh, garden out there. We do... Uh, farm out our land. The majority of our land is, is farmed. But Alan is going to actually take some and start to uh, learn to grow from seeds, have a greenhouse, and put us in a garden. Because it's actually cheaper if you can grow your own uh, to food uh, to preserve that than it is going to the farmer's market. But for me, the farmer's markets where I've had to, to buy a lot of my produce. But let me show you what I've been, what I've been doing. And, you know, I encourage you to, you know, for me, I do a lot of um, crafting and um, crochet, knit, quilt, garment sew. Um, I, I do a lot, plus I consider food preserving, whether it's for long-term storage, um, 
you know, canning, fermenting, baking bread. That, that's another hobby of mine and I enjoy it. And I have said this before, I am a process stitcher. I love the process, so my whip count doesn't concern me. I, I don't think I'd be concerned unless I get way up there. And for some people, that's great. I probably wouldn't want 100 in progress. Maybe I do, I don't know. Again, I just enjoy that rhythm of, because I stitch in hand, I love that. I love sitting down with the knitting needles or crochet hook, I enjoy that. But my time has been spent, again, here, just because of the time of year in food um, preserving. But I wanna get back to some garment sewing too. And so hopefully this fall, I'll, um, I'll dive more into that. But look at some of the stuff I've been canning, my potatoes, canning some carrots, I've done some green beans. And I just encourage you to do it if you've never done it. These are all pressure canned, and these two are um, our uh, water bath, but I've done salsa, some homemade salsa, and blueberry lemon jam. Mmm. So I enjoyed that. Now, I've already cut into my bread. I wish I had not so you could have seen the loaf, but you can't make bread and not cut into it. But look how pretty, and it's already bagged up. This is a sourdough or, um, artesian loaf. And like I said, I had already cut into it, but you can see the crumb. Look how pretty that crumb is. Now, oh, and it smells so good. Um, it is um, got a good crust on the, the top and the bottom, but look at that. Oh my gosh, yummy. So I've been doing that as well. And I love it, like I absolutely love it. It's more economical, like I said, if you can grow your own produce and things. But for me, um, until I'm at that point, it is knowing what I'm eating. And I know I've shared with you all some health struggles. I have several autoimmune disorders and I am trying uh, my best to heal myself, also my gut uh, with uh, fermented things and um, whole grains. And I'm actually bought a uh, a mill grinder, a grain mill. So I'm going to actually start grinding my own wheat berries. So I, I'm, you know, trying to do the things that I know to do to also help heal my gut, which they say everything starts in the gut and to work out. So um, I'm doing that for me uh, and my family so we can kind of heal ourselves from the inside out. Also, let me, um, share with you a couple of floss tubers to go check out. And I made a list. Um, Be a Blessing Stitcher Diane. Again, sweet. She just posted a new one. Sarah's Stitchery. Handmade by Sarah W. And again, she is doing the um, Stitch Along for Dasher and Dancer. Sable Stitchers. The Tattooed Stitcher, 911 Stitcher. I love her so much. Let me tell you, Stacy is, she's a blessing too. Just a sweet, sweet lady. Sarah's Stitchy Spot. You can't ever watch Sarah and uh, be sad. She is the most uplifting, sweetest, kindest lady. She is, uh, of course, Brenda and Laura. Floss Boss and Cousins, um, Christy and Callie. Uh, go check out the Carolina Stitchers. Joy and Emma Kay. Now, um, Joy, I think, had a uh, procedure done and uh, is recovering. So, well wishes to Joy and prayers for a speedy recovery. Also, Antique Needleworkers, Shelly. She has announced she is a designer now and she's got some charts available please 
go support her. She is a, a dear, sweet lady, and her pieces are gorgeous. Congratulations, Shelly. I hope everything you do that you set your hand to will prosper. So congratulations and good luck. And that's probably all I have. I, I appreciate, again, you all staying with me, watching, spending time. Again, if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel, like and share my video and comment, and leave me a comment specifically on where, you could either leave me a comment on where you've been this summer, maybe it's somewhere I'd like to go, or are you preserving your own food or baking your own bread? I would love to know. Just leave me a comment and I will see you all soon. Again, thank you so much for, for being here, encouraging me, supporting me. One year, I can't believe it's already been a year, but thank you all so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Thank you, love you all, I'll see you soon. Bye.